Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am in New York City this holiday season and I have a lot of amazing contents coming up. So please make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out. <laughs> I'm currently at Saks Fifth Avenue, which is probably the most famous department store in the city. Uh, Saks was built nearly a hundred years ago, and every year during the holiday season, the department store will bring an amazing light show to the city. This year, the legendary retailer partnered with the iconic French designer Christian Dior for the first time to create a mind-blowing Christmas window show and light show which is an experience of a lifetime. I have dedicated another video on this, so if you would like to check out uh, all the amazing holiday windows and the light show, please click on the link down below. Today, we're going to shop at Saks. In particular, I'm going to take you with me to the Chanel and Louis Vuitton boutiques and check out their latest collections. I am also going to take you around the second floor beauty counters and check out some of the holiday collections. So if you're interested, please follow me inside. Based on the window display, it looks like Saks is marketing the 2024 Cruise Collection by Chanel with a lot of bold, dramatic colors. This is an interesting launch in the winter time. It makes me want to go somewhere warm for vacation. Let's head over to the Chanel boutique on the ground floor to check out the highly anticipated Chanel handbags that's part of the new collection. In front of the Chanel boutique, there is this elegant Christmas tree which showcases the classic aesthetics that Chanel is famous for. It is black and white, simple and timeless. Check out this very sparkling blue cloth Chanel flap. It is so special and beautiful. In recent years, Chanel really stepped outside of their comfort zone to experiment with different fabrics for their classic flap bags. Even though mini bags are still very popular and trendy, it looks like Chanel is trying to reverse the trend by launching this oversized flap bag. I personally really like the color palette of this collection. There are a lot of bright and almost neon-like colors, from Barbie pink to mint green. Some of them even have a little bit of a metallic finish with touches of the classic Chanel monochrome. There's also a little bit of a retro Hollywood glam vibe featuring uh, sequin finishes and sparkling accessories. I think this collection is perfect for tropical vacations, which is probably why they released it this time of the year when East Coasters are planning their escape from the cold winter. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to try on this yellow flap bag, which is not a classic flap, but a seasonal bag of this collection. In other words, this bag is probably not made with double layers of leather inside. Seasonal flap bags tend to be single flaps with a slightly different strap design. So what do you guys think about this bag? I really like it. It has a very nice size, not too small and not too big, perfect for every day on the go. It also has a very nice depth. It is much thicker than the wallet on chain, which is very helpful if you like to carry bigger items around, such as a camera. In terms of pricing, given that this is a seasonal bag, it is much more affordable than the classic flap. But given that it is a Chanel, so you're not going to get a bargain, it is currently priced at 5500 US dollars. If you would like to purchase a Chanel bag at a discounted price, I actually did a video on that a few months ago. I will link that video down below in case you are interested. Before we head over to the Louis Vuitton boutique, let's admire the Chanel Christmas tree one more time. Front and center at the LV boutique is the Go 14 bag that they launched last year. It features a quilted design with the LV twist closure. This collection is on the higher end in terms of pricing for Louis Vuitton with the medium size bag priced at $9,000. There has been rumors that LV is discontinuing their famous on-the-go tote in Monogram, but it seems that it's still available for purchase in this store. In the last couple of years, LV is really trying to up their purse game against Hermes by releasing more exotic leather bags on their higher-end models, such as the Capucine, Rose Devent, and City Steamer. Check out this capucine in the highly sought after Himalaya crocodile leather. It's so divine. Uh, I believe it also comes in a gold version, which uh, LV calls it Sahara. I purchased a lizard capucine in Spain last year. If you're interested in my Madrid vlog, please check out the link down below. With that, let's head over to the second floor and check out the beauty counters. Because Saks is collaborating with Dior this year for the holiday show, there is something Dior in every corner of the store. I purchased a lot of Dior items this holiday season. I think the Shears holiday collection is beautiful and the packaging is very gorgeous. So if you would like to find out what I purchased, please click on the link down below.
friends, I hope that you enjoyed today's shopping trip. As mentioned, I'm going to upload a few more New York City related videos soon, so please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out. Before we end the day, let's admire some of my favorite Dior holiday windows this year. And I'll give you a sneak peek of the light show towards the end of this video. Uh, I have another video designated for the light show, so please click on the link down below if you would like to check out the entire show.